What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dungarapa. We are down to the freaking wire. You know that? We are actually down to the wire. All the best people are in the game right now. Everyone, last episode, I... I actually... Wait. <laughs> I almost spoiled it, all right? If you missed last episode, I will tell you uh, to go check it out right here, okay? We had the last class trial. So if you missed the third class trial where uh, I think like two people died, you might want to go check that out. Because now we're going to talk about spoiler territory. Alright, um, this is actually the first of the series. You guys have not hit six, uh, 30k likes yet. But I'm recording this anyway because that's how confident I am. So I'm just going to say thank you for hitting 30k likes on last episode. Because that's how confident I am. But anyway, now we're getting into the spoiler territory of this episode. All of the characters that I actually like, including Bialkia, he's kind of growing on to me, but I still hate him. So, like, I'm conflicted. At this point, like, if someone... I actually... No, I don't care about freaking him. <laughs> I can actually care less if he dies because he's just not that likable. He's a nice guy, but that's all he's got going for, for him. But, you know, if Sakura dies, Kyoka... Like, all these characters are really cool. All right, so this is going to be so weird. I have a feeling the game's going to be totally different. So, last episode, at the end, Celeste gave Kyoko a key to room 17. I, I, I'm guessing maybe it was her room or something like that. That's something I'm really interested in. Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? Hey, hey. So what's the deal with that? Oh, she ain't gonna oh, say wow. nothing. What's the matter? So I'll answer your question if you answer mine. You. What did you do? Ooh, she's gonna pry some information out of him. What did you do to me? What? Ooh. Oh, what did he actually do? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? Ooh. Ooh, oh man, oh jeez, oh man, oh jeez, what do you mean, what did I do? I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. What is he talking about? Or she? Um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body? That, what does that mean? Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout out. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. What? It's just more... It's just more pieces to the puzzle of what's going on. He fo he fooled me before he died, said that he saw us before. So that was already like playing into the theory that I had that everyone's uh, met each other before this. So I don't know. What's that key that Celeste so... gave you? Most likely it's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? What then that means? Hmm. So that's probably hit it in there. Oh yeah, yeah. We got to go find um, 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 the computer. All right, we're going to go get it. Let's go get it. Because they were supposed to get the answers that we need to get out of here. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said, hey. I'm going to go in alone from here. Everyone else, head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. What? Yeah, what exactly are you... Why are you going in alone? Why should we trust her? So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quietly, uh, quickly at the surveillance camera. Oh, yeah. I guess, I guess she's got a point. Come on. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still a risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. What? You? Please, let me go. Yeah, I definitely should go because I really wanted to see what happens. Standing here arguing is going to draw more attention to us. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Thank you, Bianca. Well, then. then it's up to you now. Yo. I'm like the only- that's the only person I give a voice to for some reason. Alright. Uh, so Makoto and Kyoko are going to go together. Oh, is someone jealous? That's okay. You're still my number one waifu, okay? Alright, Asahina? I swear, if she dies, I'm going to quit this game. She's so innocent. She could never hurt a fly, right? Good luck, Makoto. Girls like uh, her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. I try to forget what Hina said. Okay, all right. Go? Let's go. Come on. We need to get into that locker. Kyoko took the key. Okay, she unlocked it. All right. Oh, good morning. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's safe, thank goodness. I've never heard Kyoko. S I've never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. I did what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. Oh, and I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe, oh, so she hasn't, okay, so he actually hasn't opened, whatever, it's a computer, <laughs> hasn't opened uh, the files yet, okay. I'm doing my best, so please just wait a, a while longer. Man, I'm a good reader. So now we can officially say the case is closed, as far as this incident is concerned, sure, but can we take a second? Since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me, what are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However, Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know. That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. But that warning without explanation. She's, I mean, she's, she could be the mole. Although I have a really uh, good theory that I, that serves, that goes against that. I don't, like a part of me also doesn't think that she's the mole. And I think I know who is and it's, um, 
Again, if it's true, I'm gonna freaking like go crazy when you do that. Indeed. It's only natural when they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No, I believe in you. What? I, you believe in me? Isn't it obvious people believe in their friends, right? That's why I wanted, I want you to tell me, and I want you to believe in me too. Dang, we using that talk no jutsu on her so she can tell us all the secrets. Because we're friends, then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then? That's fine. Fine, I'll tell you. Yes! I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see... Ooh, ooh, juicy details, yes. What I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. She told me an unbelievable story. I decided I had to confirm that what she told me with my own two eyes, so I waited for nighttime to come. And when it did, I went into action. Whoa, what are we doing? It must be the girl's bathroom. That's the only place we can't go. <laughs> oh, the boy's bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. What? In the storage closet in there, way in the back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She said it was way in the back of the boy's bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? I swear I looked in there. I, I would have never noticed, but I guess that's something that would be easy to miss, huh? You kind of just don't pay attention to the surveillance cameras. Wow. Unless it's in the toilet. Monokuma trying to look at my butt? I wouldn't be surprised. He seems like that type of bear. What am I looking for here? Oh, okay. All right, go here. Oh, it's just a normal storage closet as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about couldn't really be hidden here. What is like a hidden secret passage or something? She said it was way in the back of the storage closet, but I mean seriously, without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. And suddenly, if I were being yanked in, it's a secret door! At the same time I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Oh my god, what the heck? Another room? That's weird. I had fallen through the back of it. Huh, it turned out the back wall was like a revolting door or a revolving door and it made my way I made my way to the other side just like she said. So this is the secret room, but what's in here? Uh, probably some files that- why is there a bunch of tissues? <laughs> There's a bunch of files in what looks like a volume uh, of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the book uh, bookshelf caught my eye. Pope's Peak Academy Student Registry. This is the only thing in here that's not covered in dust. Had someone been looking through it recently? I slipped the file into my hand, but before I had a chance to look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. You must not leave. What? This is kind of weird. I couldn't understand if it said I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. The strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Rey Mysterio came out of nowhere and attacked us. A strange sound rang throughout my head. It felt like I was being shaken my my brain. I felt like it was shaking my brain back and forth and then darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what what started it. It's all over. And with that I opened my eyes. I don't know how long it had been. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so th whoever that was, that's probably the mole. It wasn't the Monokuma, that's for sure. I'm telling you, I think Here's what I think. Investigation time! I think that one of the students that died isn't actually dead. That's what I think. I think it was all fake. You owe me five dollars if I'm if I'm right about that. These tissues look awfully suspicious. Oh, it's a bookshelf. Wait, it's empty. What the heck? Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. They got one of those like men in black things? I should get to back to my room and get some rest. No, I didn't even examine the stool. What about the stool? My body was heavy with, fa with pain. My mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back to uh, my room. Bro, somebody made it back to the first floor of the school. The farther I walked, the more I felt things are getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that, oh my God, this would be the perfect time for someone to kill us. <laughs> Unless that was like actually someone trying to kill us. Probably Kyoko. <laughs> As if from a vast, a vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint but undeniable. That sound. It's coming from the gym. Oh, we like crawled over there or what? I desperately hauled my shaky frame towards the gym. The sound got stronger and stronger. Oh my god. Oh, someone's hitting. It must be Sakura. She done picked up one of the students and started wailing on him. I just knew it. <laughs> I know it. Here in the gym? Go in there. What are you wasting time for?
I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds coming from inside me while only intensified that much more. Catch up, Beko! Yeah, pet. What? Bakya Dedum? Shh, shh, Oh! Oh! Holy crap, Sakura's butt cheeks! Before me, they're raised a battle beyond anything humanly possible. Holy crap! Sakura's done snapped and turned into sands! This is insane! They're wiling out over here! No, one side's not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. Whoa, my god. They're like Super Saiyans! I forgot to move or even Why breathe. You? What do you think you're doing? What is she doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? Why would Sakura attack Monokuma knowing that she's gonna die? Is she about to die? This wasn't part of the deal! The deal. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I'm just over here saving my coffee. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Oh my God, Sakura gone crazy. Okay, but you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? Sakura, no, you're actually really nice, and I like you, you a lot. Forgotten. What I'm holding hostage? Ugh. The heck is going on? A hostage? Then could it be the mastermind spy is? No. A next generation legend stand tall galactic hero. What the heck? I mean Kyoko, but not like, no, not Sakura. That just don't make no sense. Yeah, I got super robo justice present. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. <laughs> Hifumi killed Taka, then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. The perfect recap to the entire series. <laughs> and that brings us up to now. I should just play that every time I start an episode. The next morning- I just need answers! I need freaking answers, Sakura! You need to speak up! What the heck? And how's she not dead if she was attacking him? So now there's only five of us here. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. That's true. I need to get freaking through this game. I'm just like, I just don't want to listen to them talk anymore. I just want to know. Makoto, are you okay? No, I'm fine. Uh, nothing's wrong. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, everyone would just, yeah, everyone would just like, you know, be, go crazy basically. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. What do you mean in that case? Well, because look how scary pe everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? That's all she thinks about is food, and I love her for it. Here's the here's the donut for you. I give her a donut. As always, we gotta go explore the new areas in the school. Every class trial, the new floor or something opens. I just wonder how big the school is. It's true. So let's go do it. Chapter four. Oh no! <laughs> she crying some tears! <gasps> she better not die, I swear my life. And the thing is, is like, I know she's probably, she's not like a main character. And that's what makes it, that's just sad. I, I already know it's probably inevitable, but I don't want to talk about it. Alright, here we go! Let's check out the new floor, I wonder what it's gonna be. So now we have access to the fourth floor, so maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. All right, so check the check the every room now and check for cameras. That's the the rule now. Look, no cameras. Huh? Same as before. Uh, but there's nothing in here we can examine. But okay. Why do the floors look like this? This looks like uh, like I'm about to go to the boss level. <laughs> oh, we got the office over here. What other rooms we got? Headmaster. Oh, let's go to the headmasters. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> oh, I can't. Of course it's locked. Dang it. We're probably gonna get it. He's probably gonna put us in some saw game or something and we'll have to get a key out of our throat. Something dumb. <laughs> Alright, this is the music room. Ooh, we're we gonna have a concert? Oh, hi, Kyoko. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom? Oh, well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked by who? Well, they came from behind and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. But yeah, but there was no cameras, right? And she's the only one that knew we went in there, so it's still definitely possible that she could still be working for Monokuma. And when I came to the mountains of files and documents, uh, they were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those That's were. Cool. It's okay, I already saw what I needed to in there. Hi. And I have su uh, suspected the Mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen what on, on the surveillance cameras in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. 
Yeah, that, that would be really suspicious for a girl to do that, right? Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted you to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. But to attack you and steal everything in the room, that must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked. But you can handle that kind of thing, right? You're a boy, after all. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Then let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko still a quick glance at the surveillance camera. Oh, yeah. Why are we doing that? <laughs> all right, let's... So now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding Am something. Uh, that's... Oh. How... <laughs> Okay, I guess. I guess I am hiding something. What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? Yeah, I mean, at this point, we have to tell her. I will tell her, even though I don't know if I can trust her. I wonder, I wonder how this is going to affect the game. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet, but if I talk about it now, it could just make things much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend. Oh no, I will tell her. It's asking me again. I haven't found... Wait. Oh, it won't let me tell her. What the... Why you give me the option then? I hate when the games do that. Well, yeah, now she's... Of course she's mad that we won't tell her. I tried! <laughs> I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. Great, now she's gonna kill us. <laughs> That's like... That is messed up. We should have told her. This is a grand piano. Okay, uh... Of course, without someone around to play it, <laughs> anyone that could have played it is probably dead now. Alright, check the office. Jimusho. That's how you say office in Japanese. I just had to say that for myself. <laughs> the more I say it, the easier I remember it. I'm trying to rememberize words. <laughs> but of course, there's no hints of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. Rely on. Oh, oh, oh my god. Another... What the heck? <gasps> Sayaka! <laughs> Let me see her! Are you okay? Are you okay? Look at the camera. They're fighting over the camera and everything. What? This just further proves it. They're alive. I know it. They're just in school. They're all laughing about it right now. Celeste, Fumi, and Saika, the smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. Bro, there's no like way that those are just left there for nothing. What if Madakuma is not even evil at all? There's no way this isn't important somehow. And who keeps dropping them? They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal uh, teenager to smile. Sayaka. Just a normal group of high schoolers living in their school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. Or I thought they were in college. <laughs> FBI, oh god. <laughs> hey, it's anime, okay? It doesn't count. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew uh, each other before they got here. Including Sayaka. Well, if that's true, then maybe they are dead and that was actually just taken before. Oh! <laughs> You're fake! Well, we were calling- we were saying that maybe it's fake. Monokuma popped out out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying this picture is real. If there was such a thing as a noble truth prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or not? Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? But it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. The picture is real. No more, no less. Okay, that's that's good enough for me. Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real. Why would he tell us that? If that's the case... Oh my god, what does it mean? I need to know really, really bad. Hello, I'm Monokuma from the school scorer. A, I'm very kind. Gather up your coins and come play with me or you might die of loneliness. Or I might die. Okay, he said I. Didn't know. All right, I'm like examining these rooms now to see if there's anything weird about them. Oh, hey, what are you doing in here? One day I saw Monokuma in class. La 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 la. What is Monokuma anyway? Like, is he a person? Is he being controlled? Like, what is the deal? Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive, so this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in deep, a friendly conversation. I seem to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind, but I can't, uh, while she's with hey, Hina. Makoto. Hey, you need something? No, it's nothing. You sure? Okay, then. Sakura, you have some explaining to do? Uh, okay, we gotta find her alone somehow. I mean, it would be really scary, though, to be with her alone because she might kill us. Oh, they got protein in here! <laughs> I didn't, is that the protein zyme X? Is that really what it's called? I didn't know that. She's all excited because they. <laughs> it's a high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap's will on the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. It's a gold mine. 
Ah, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up with some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? They're all excited. All right, that was it. That's all we needed. Okay. I'll report back to you when something happens and a summary. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor and it had all the chemicals and there was, you know, what they wanted. Oh, there was actually a bunch of different poisons too. Poison? They were all labeled clearly though, so it'd be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Unless you wanted to kill somebody. Oh my god, I can see it already. What if she gets poisoned because she loves eating food so much? We probably shouldn't tell Bianca or Toko about the poison, right? Well, like, like, like they're not gonna go see it. <laughs> Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Just in case, yeah, I think you're right. However, and Bia it's Bialkyo. It won't be long before he discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, that's absolutely the work of the mastermind. All right, so they... Because the headmaster's room is locked, they, uh... Proposed that maybe, like, getting Sakura or someone to knock the door down. Obviously, he can't do that, and that's exactly what he's saying. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. Oh, well... That, I feel like that should be highlighted. Why would he tell us that? And you're thinking of bursting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have uh, you have any idea how much bacteria lives in a single bear claw? No, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> you're totally mad. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're going to go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add the school regulations. Okay, so like what he's implying is that like they could have been doing a bunch of things and if there's no rule against it They can't be punished. So if he would have just if they would have torn the door down before he made a rule about it They that wouldn't be breaking a rule. Okay, so now they can't do it So because he made a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room Oh, we're telling about the picture we found. That's obvious that that was gonna happen Seriously, man, I need to know. Are you still so conflicted? What? Oh my god, okay. I thought like a secret character was gonna come out. It's just Bialkia. So they're... It's really not that that important. They're just talking about things. Kyoko's just mad. Leave us a note. Leave us alone. You're not part of this. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are and always will be completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest, huh? Oh no, tell us! Tell us, please! <laughs> hey. Bianca, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Does he say he's been take, uh, talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? Maybe we should all go take a bath. <laughs> ah, good idea. <laughs> He mixed the bath, eh? Okay. <laughs> if Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here what Alter Ego what had to say? I already heard it with Master. With Master? You don't have to keep saying it anyway, so what are we doing right now? <laughs> Shut up, stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way, we have to talk to Alter Ego. Well. No, I made Master a promise. A promise? Master <laughs> told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you doing? What are you, his dog? If it's what Master wants, uh, uh. <laughs> Toko, get a hold of yourself. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine, if you really want me gone, by all means. Oh, crap. Is she gonna sneeze at will? Hey, guys, what's going on? Well, we'd like you to move. Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. First a mega masochist, now a super sadist. So, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. Mm. Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. Come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo. <laughs> one, drop to your knees. Two, beseech. Why do you act like you're not part of this? I was the I I was as desperate as I felt. I finally I did kneel. Oh, she actually he actually did it. I'm begging you. Will you please let me use the laptop? <laughs> she thinks it's funny. Such an ultra miracle, miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent-up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. So even you realize it's abuse. Okay. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> All right, well, that was easy for the most part. Everyone, come closer. I already told Biakio, but I was finally able to crack open all the files. Well, we're all saved then. Just what I thought. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um... I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way uh, resting on the keyboard. My hand started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word was like a sharpened blade wounded. I. <laughs> She's so mad at so us. Bad. Here we go. Kyoko began, began typing the words appearing as fast as I could read them. 
Can you tell us what you found out? Sure, I analyzed all the files and extracted all the useful information that I could. And one particularly important fact I discovered was a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stage goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other, than the, none other than the administrators of Hope Speak themselves. Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been in prison here, it wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No it was the school itself? What is, that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I didn't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems like the only reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. That's how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of de devastating occurrence because of the tragedy. Yeah. Hope Speak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and closed down. Things are finally starting to make sense. I don't really understand, but okay. What this means is that one year, this thing, uh, that this tragedy that took place and whatever it was, it forced Hope Speak Academy to shut down. Yeah, that's what we read in the book. From there, they decided to use the school as some kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to uh, sequester the students here, does that mean trapped? Where they will live out the rest of their lives. But why would Hope Speak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, she, I'm sure she's asking that. Oh, she doesn't know that information. I'm totally useless, I'm sorry. And that's all he said. Then is this really the end? We got halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so disappointing. What? Oh wait! No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. Yeah, the mastermind! Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you was the Hope Speaks headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seemed possible even likely that he's somewhere in the school right now. What, headmaster? Well, like, well, th that seemed like a man that like hit us before or whatever they did to us. He's in the school? Okay. Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I think Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. Serious. But if we break down the door to this room, we're dead, right? So, what are we supposed to do? Bye. I'll find a way. Huh? huh? Bye. No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. Dang, she looks actually like mad for once. No matter what? No matter the cost. So Kyoko, what's going on? What did she- what did, like, he do to her? <laughs> I can't explain why, I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Is that like her dad or something? Cause like, I don't know. She's the only one that didn't have information on what she was, you know? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost Sorry, violent. Then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything. Okay. Wait, Alter Ego se seems to have more to say. So, uh, um, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Uh, I haven't seen Celeste, Fumi, or Taka- They're dead! <laughs> what? Uh, I see, certainly I knew that that was a possibility, okay, but it really yeah. happened. Oh, sorry. There's no point in getting de de or depressed over things that I can't do anything anyway. about. Well, that's it. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then maybe yeah. I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. How could you be tired? <laughs> so Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him uh, that much anymore. But, but I kind of feel sorry for him. But... You feel sorry, but he's just a computer program, right? No. I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did, but what a computer program is designed to do, you don't tell a computer a good job every time you shut it down, do you? Mm. Well, no, but then we talked to Alter Ego, I guess just... I guess I just didn't see it that way. And frankly, I question the ease of which you decide who is and is, is it your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what uh, Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... God, I mean, what? I really wanted to tell her, but the game wouldn't let me. It sucked that I didn't have a choice. As we left the dressing room, someone was waiting there for us. Of course. My heart is pound pounding away. It's pounding with anger! You're not still mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster room thing, are you? Oh, that little better doesn't even matter a little, and I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath. <laughs> but that doesn't matter either. It's building. I feel it building. My head's about to boil over with rage. Don't get so angry here. Let me help you center your chakra. 
etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang. Be careful, he just chanted the incant incantation, incantation of devastation. Huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Ooh, it's what Sakura did. What does Sakura do? Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, so what does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Well, no one even follows it anyway. Freaking Asahina goes and gets donuts. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. I agree. It's true. Very well, then. In that case, time for bed. All right, you know what time it is. It's morning time. Gotta go see if anyone's dead. You know, the usual. Okay. They're alive. Surprised you're not dead yet, or I'm actually a little sad. Can't wait. You're still alive too. What are you staring at? Oh, What's your problem? <laughs> yeah, why is she joining us? Usually she doesn't join us. Bianca said he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so <laughs> she's coming in here to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna start eating. And she's like, finally, for the first time, I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Wait, at what point would Bianca say, oh, I really like a girl with meat on her bones? Like, what is... I want to know what they do in their alone time. Or do I? I don't know. I refuse to lose! <laughs> now I'll say this seems as a, as a challenge. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. No. Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? No. Yeah, after you leave. Oh, that's messed up. I know I said I wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much backbone. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dirty Land. Hey, shut up! You don't understand. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. What the? What about us? Just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Filthy me? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. It's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Shut up. You and that lusty body. Oh my god. Even when she's like this, she still talks that way. Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight. Se <laughs> what the heck? Sex shrek. What? Activities only puts us in even more danger. Please. Stop it. You'd like me to stop with your sweaty hands gripping the bid fat chalk, chalk tight? Oh my god. What is wrong with her? Is she, does she swing that way? Maybe she likes, she likes. Hey, no, no competition. It's amazing, indecent areas are coming to me one after another. <laughs> so would you rather have your black guy on the left or the right? Sorry. Hey, what is on. with that? Like, come on. Let's see, Toko alone, she's gone a little funny from all the pent up frustration. You know? Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we need to talk to her about what we saw. I don't know why we couldn't just tell her, but before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Okay, Sakura, can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Oh, now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart. <laughs> are you in heat, Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as they've got the right equipment. Oh yeah, I want the muscles. I want her to pick me up like a little baby. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> Could our talk wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. Oh, if she dies, that's gonna be awful. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Oh, I wonder why, because she's in there having battles with Matakuma. All right, I'm back. Uh, you don't know that, but I took a break, because uh, this game is freaking long, so. <laughs> so we're in free time once again. This time, you know what? I really do want to learn more about Toko. Toko, I gotta say, uh, well, I would like to know more about Sakura as well. We've already pretty much did all of Aoi's parts, so we don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> and Kyoko's so mad at us. I wonder if we spend time with her. She actually like, like, is it possible? And I just always wonder. I, I bet you it, it isn't. I actually want to try it. Our main goal is to get into the headmaster's office. We know that's Matakuma's office, or at least that's what they say. We need to find the secrets that lie within. Kyoko, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I know. I, I wanted to tell you, but the character wouldn't let me. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I don't have time to waste. Okay, well, that answers my question. All right. Well, Toko, hey, hey, where you at? Makoto, are you leering at me? What are you thinking? What are you planning to do to me? Should I talk to Toko while she's acting like this? Yeah, let's spend some time with her. I was perfectly happy spending some time by myself, but I guess if you're so desperate for attention, I could hang out for a little bit. <laughs> She's, you know what, Toko's growing on me. I'm just saying, like, she has character, right? That's what's important. Okay, she likes, that looks like a Gucci, it's a Gucci handbag. What the heck? <laughs> That's what she wants. Okay, let's give it to her. 
<laughs> Sorry, but I'm already engaged to master, so I can't go on a date with you. If you're okay with that, I don't mind if you think about me. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> she's crazy. <laughs> she says some wild stuff. Seeing seeing Tuko so pleased with something, this, that means that she was pleased with it. She's just standing there. Does she want something? But she's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko, what do you want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? Um, what do you like to do in your spare time? Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know, if we're going to be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. What, you just say? Um, after that part about being trapped, we're going to be, what? Uh, friends? Hmm. What do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me. I've already been hurt once before. I'm not gonna let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway. Come on, you don't really care about me. Okay, and I accidentally skipped it. It was actually a complete accident. I know you guys are gonna be mad at me. But, uh, it's just interesting fact. Uh, they did say that I think she had two moms. So, just interesting. I mean, that's basically it, though. I don't know if that has anything to do with what happened to her. Just saying. You don't want to know about me, even if I know that. No, that's not true. Fine, then tell me. Tell you what? You know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure. You've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. So, I mean, so she's into literature. I mean, that is a plus on her side. I'm just saying, you know? Then uh, tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my genre is. Oh, it's like love or romance, isn't it? I mean, we it has to be. If you're really gonna convince me you give a crap, you should at least know that. The genre that the ultimate product, it's gotta, it's gotta, ooh. Young adult and romance is essentially the same thing. I don't care what you say. Oh God, I can't get this wrong. I'm sorry, I gotta cheat. I'm, I'm certain it's one of those. It's not nonfiction. Okay, so it's romance. I mean, I was right. I just didn't know exactly which one. Of course, romance. Oh, you actually knew? Your biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean. I loved it so much, I read it in my bathtub. Right, uh, <laughs> right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit that the fisherman shot to the top of the hottest men poles, right? How did you, you know all that? There's no way you could care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? That's what I said to Kyoko before she, like, now doesn't trust us anymore. I'm blind, your straightforward nature blinded me. <laughs> Toko ran out screaming like a banshee. What does a banshee sound like exactly? I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? But hey Okay, yeah, so like the more you spend time with people you actually update their information things like that Maybe would we would have learned more about Celeste. Maybe her name. I didn't know if we actually knew her name You just like the skill of vocabulary. Give yourself a pat on the back. I did Attention, please gather in the gym as soon oh, as you possibly the gym. can. Oh, crap. Quickly, well, quickly, quick. Okay. All right. We're going to the gym. Hey, who got the $10 million? Did no one just like no one got it? Like the heck? <laughs> Why are we going to the gym? This is odd. Usually it's like nothing happens this fast. So. I'm excited. Oh, Sakura is there. She's like, <laughs> we're going to go witness them fight. Am I going to see those cheeks again? You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Uh, aren't you going to go in? However, I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably Monokuma did call us all together after all. Sakura? Well then. Makoto, if something happens to me, Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. I'm. Who would ever. Wait. Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um. Sakura? Oh god. I still believe she's good. I don't think she's like a traitor. Well, she obviously was like trying to just, like be good, if anything. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we got in the gym, it began. All right, it's the next, um, what do you call it? Motive. Yep. Ooh. What does he have? A cup of coffee? Well. Okay, let's get this show on the road. You're about to give us the next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again? Yeah. Not again! <laughs> I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Yay. The reason I gathered I you here is that I can get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Oh, yeah, no. that's right. He did say something like that, huh? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you having a grudge against us. Hmm. 
I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a thing for a thing. Stop beating around the bush. Yeah, just tell us what it is. Well, Bianca, you already told everyone how you might be working as a spy for me, right? What? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? Excuse me? What did you just say? Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey. So guess what? The spy is actually Sakura. Oh, he just came out and said it. He said it so openly, made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. How could you say that? Oh my god, is Sakura gonna die? We're just like gonna kill her already? He said the spy is Sakura. What, is what are you talking about? You're a liar. Yeah, oh god, you're gonna tear wife waifu up, man. There's no way Sakura's a spy, um, right, Sakura? Oh my god, it's true. <laughs> and I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, po hostage? <laughs> Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with information is up to you. Roast her, boil kills. her, kill her, don't kill her. No, no, we can't, we can't do that. I can't wait. Sakura is, is actually wait. really nice. I don't care. Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a thing for a thing. In other words, betrayal would meet with betrayal or be met with betrayal. What the heck? So what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying for the mastermind? There's no way, says Asahima. <laughs> but that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. Well, he's wrong. wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. So what the heck, like... But she hasn't really done anything. Oh, crap. Besides, Monokuma, in the cutscene where it, uh, it showed Monokuma talking to the spy, uh, clearly Sakura didn't act first like, uh, you know, she was supposed to at the time. So, like, so she actually hasn't done anything. But if she's been reporting things to, to, you know, Monokuma, including the, you know, Chihiro, like, computer thing, then, yeah, that would be bad. Oh, no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you've been lying to us this entire time? It's not true. Sakura's probably being controlled. There's gotta be some reason she didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The Mastermind probably threatened her somehow. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during the fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. You saw that? The Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. So the hostage is gotta be one of the students that we thought died but actually didn't die. That's what I think. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says. How could we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what, what the mastermind what wants. Sakura would never do that. Okay, then Sakura, if you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry, I can't even if I don't know that what? you don't know what makes you all the more sus oh, That makes you all the more suspicious. She's telling the truth. You had to believe her. Don't Shut up I'm not finished questioning her Come on. next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? I was told to kill one of my friends It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees the weight of those words I see, I see. so even now you've taken aim on our lives wrong. So how do we wrong. know there's not another one? We don't know, do we? Like, there's no way to know if there's not multiple people that are uh, working with Monokuma. Yakuya? Huh? <laughs> You're wrong! I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that! You don't have to yell, we can hear you just fine! Don't you have an inside voice? <laughs> that guy, she cares about manners all of a sudden. It's because you're not listening to me! Wait. Please stop, you don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. However... How do you intend to do that? <laughs> By destroying the mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. If anyone can do it, Sakura with her freaking shoulder muscles can do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on, what do you mean if you if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But Sakura! I'm sorry. I'm- Oh, she said it. <laughs> Sakura turned away from us, left the gym, and then... Ding dong, bing bong! 
Was it night? It's nighttime, so that's why. This is obviously a interesting development in the story because Asahina really is on Sakura's side, and I think she will be till the very end. Unfortunately, um, Byakuya does not agree. <laughs> so that leads me to believe that there might be a motive to kill someone now, like a good motive, and I don't like it because I don't want her to. It's either gonna be her or Sakura, I think, is gonna die. I, I doubt it's gonna be Byakuya. Byakuya seems just too important to the story somehow. I don't know how, but I just... It's gonna be crazy when he dies. I really... I'm Obviously, everything in my heart wants her to survive, but I just don't feel it. I don't feel like it's gonna happen, and it makes me sad, so I better spend time with her while I can. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't gonna help anything. What? But, anyway. go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. I mean, she's, she's got a good reason to be upset, you know? I'm worried about Sakura. I need to get to the dining hall. So it's now morning time. Yeah, is she alive? Uh, did something happen? I'm running as fast as I can! I'm going so fast, boy! I don't like this music. <laughs> oh, she ain't here. Well, I mean, it would make sense that she would stay in her room. Or she's safe. Uh, Makoto, are you okay? What do you mean? You were so late, we were worried about you. What a dullard. Tokyo, Byakyo, what are you doing here? Or Tokyo. <laughs> don't call her Tokyo. <laughs> They're taking refuge here. Ref refuge? Such Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind's? Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't here was Sakura. Where's Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was a safeguard against that threat. Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair. The game should be fair to all players. It, yeah, exactly. I mean, I think so too, but it's not... Again, it's not anyone's fault. It's not even Sakura's fault. What the heck? Yeah, why did the Mastermind reveal that Sakura was a spy for the us? Heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However. That may be a part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive. Yeah, the chaos, like the confusion that in it causes. Words. In other words, right here, the fighting and the bickering is the trap of the mastermind that he laid for us. I mean, how can I get you guys to believe it's Sakura again? <sighs> if she really could beat the mastermind, I mean, that, yeah, <laughs> if she could beat the mastermind, what I mean, obviously, obviously, Monokuma had problems with her, right? Like, she's probably that strong. She had blue eyes. Sans has blue eyes. Just saying. Well, here we go, Byakuya making things worse. If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the Mastermind to control. Hold on, Byakuya. In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? Oh my god. He's making this worse. <laughs> oh, slap. Was it us or was it Asahina? What the hell? Woo! He deserved it. You know, I, I gotta say he deserved it. Toko's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you disgust me. I've seen this You're coming. You're a monster. To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die. Dang. What? I should have died? Interesting. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. Oh my god, see, I told you this was gonna freaking happen. That's right. That's exactly what Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. That's tough, man. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> That stupid cow, how dare she? She should die a thousand deaths, no, a million! <laughs> so she was just another historical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya. Ooh, tell him, Kyoka. Kyoka. <laughs> Kyoko. And all you can do is mock them for it. <laughs> a friendly word of warning, someday that attitude is gonna come back and bite you hard. It's true. People with attitudes like that, they, they're, if they have relationships, that is, unless you're a crazy girl like Toko, they're gonna have lots of problems with people because they can't express their feelings and they don't, you know, it's just bad all around. I don't have time to play with you. <sighs> so, um, you know, he's just like here standing here. Um, How about we, uh, eat? <laughs> maybe he's not, meh, maybe now's not the good time. You know? Dang, this is getting heated. This is getting heated in this game. Wait a minute, Sakura's in the Kim lab. What the heck? I wouldn't expect that. I thought she'd be in a room. Oh, we can actually hang out with her. You know what? Just since she might actually die very soon, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hang out with her. Besides, I'm sure I have something to give her. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, <laughs> you still stand by me. <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I. she just seems like she hasn't killed anyone. She hasn't done anything. So why wouldn't I believe her? Okay, we can give her the God of War charm. That seems very fitting for some odd reason. 
You know, I'm not quite sure why, but somehow you remind me of him. I'm sorry. Sorry, forget that I said that. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> anyway, I feel a little better now. Thank you. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Yes, you got that. Oh, just ding dong bing bong. Just ding dong bing bong time. Okay. I just hope nothing happens tonight, it says. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my name's Bob. It's always like it's like crazy. It's like oh, are they gonna be there? You never know. Are they all are they all gonna <gasps> No <laughs> Was that someone screaming? I think he came from the dining hall. Run! Someone's being stabbed as we speak. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh god, we got a big problem, man! What's wrong? Look! Hero's finger shot as he uh, shook as he pointed. <gasps> You piece of crap! Go away! Oh no, she stabbed her! Hina! Are you okay? What happened? She, she killed her. What do you mean she killed her? Genocide Jill killed Hina! She's clearly alive! You gotta be kidding! Oh, she's not dead! Open your eyes! No way she's dead! What? Why? What happened? Uh, well, Token and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the paper off the, the pepper off the table and that led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? <laughs> I might be flat, but at least mine are real. And look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just set you on fire? <laughs> totally not adorable. Anyway, you're so non-adorable, boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else I'll start cutting and cutting. Oh my god. I thought she didn't. I thought she didn't care like care about killing like uh, women. All right, let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Sure thing. Wee <laughs> wee. <Wee-oo, wee-oo. laughs> the heck, man. Ooh, man, if I- I wish I had a choice. I wish this game let- like, let us choose who to kill. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to finally regain her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it's really just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. She's all mad. <laughs> hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Um, we got into a fight and then I lost my temper and I flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. At first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have the time uh, left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just, without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Serious. A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, she uh, got let, uh, she got let loose, right? Genocide, Jill, whatever. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore because, because she was really saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know. Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears, and just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door- Oh my god, who's here? And there she stood before us. Oh, <laughs> You know she's gonna be mad. Sakura! You're hurt, what happened? Huh? Nothing, it's not a big deal. Makoto Hiro, what's the meaning of this? Oh, oh, that's- Okay, that is a motive. I've never seen one. Sakura is definitely gonna kill, uh, uh, Freaking Toko. And, and no one would really care because, like, even Bianca doesn't like Toko, right? To hurt Hina. To leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you? What is this? <laughs> oh, I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Oh, oh it's no not okay. I can't forgive this. Yeah, like, maybe, like, is, so, is someone ever gonna kill someone in, like, the broad school? Like, you know? Well, I guess that wouldn't make sense, right? Oh, oh God. Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I don't hate you exactly. I can't Why? <laughs> Somebody save me. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming at the nurse's office, but it wasn't him. What's going on? What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway. Um, it would seem... I gather that something happened. Well, no crap. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line right here, right now. I'm drawing a line. Goodbye. Goodbye. No one even told her who did it! You think that would be the thing? It's like, no, it wasn't him! <laughs> Hina ran after her. The only ones left were me and her. Oh, we can finally talk it out now and settle our differences. Um, Kyoko, are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? <sighs> About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Then do you forgive me for not being able to talk In about it? Words. You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Whew, she, she actually doesn't care no more, thank god. <laughs> and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected, wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. She said, okay, <laughs> what? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. 
No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. That's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, I... I may have overreacted. Ooh, look at she got a little blush there. Okay, okay. Anyway. Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. All right, thank you. Okay. Oh, she wants to talk to us about something else. Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well, then shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, settling at a brisk pace. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? The dressing room? So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need her anymore. Wrong. Or him anymore. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Okay, what is it then? Spit it out. Oh, yeah. So, I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, why? Okay. The library, right? I'm guessing. Well, um... You said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I finished my work, but I don't want I that. Be able to help. Yeah, but she can't go anywhere else, or he can't go anywhere else besides here. There's another place besides here that there's no surveillance camera. Oh, the bathroom. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an Ethernet port on the wall. Was that really? Oh, I, there actually is. <laughs> okay. All right, so that might be dangerous, obviously, because someone watches us go in there. In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you can hide him uh, with what you're wearing, right? It's true. Oh yeah, we have like a coat, I think, so or then. something. All right, it's a secret stealth mission now. It tickles the heck. <laughs> we put him in our code and he's like, oh, it tickles. You can't talk right now. Oh my God. In the secret room, there's a bunch of cables in the uh, in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in However, there. Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Let's go check. It's true. Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Just hurry up and go to make sure you don't run off. I'm going to wait here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful, I thought I made her mad again. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, I'm going. So then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay. It's all an act. Oh, what the heck? There's more papers right there. Who put those there? Were they always there? Maybe they were. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Sweet. I can finally get on my MySpace. <laughs> I immediately got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected it. Connected it to the internet. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> and that should do it. Um, um yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. And just leave the rest of me. I swear I'll find something. Yeah, right. This isn't gonna work. So please wait a little while I'm longer. Aren't you a computer? And shouldn't things be like instant? Just hold tight to put your faith in me. I was about to leave. I decided to leave with him. Uh, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us as friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Makoto. Never cared so much about a computer in my life. Makoto. Except for Monica. Okay, yeah. How did it go? Well, it went okay, but um, all the documents were gone just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. I'm kind of tired, so I lay down. Oh! Someone's at our door. It's at night. Our daytime. Oh no. Is it is it finally our time to get killed? <laughs> Probably Sakura or Hina. Makoto. Oh, get out here. What's going on? Hina just came to see me. She was white as a ghost, but she's not dead though. It sounds like something happened. As soon as I heard my, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we need to go to the rec room. Oh, is it happening? Hina! Mika, uh, what's wrong? Something's not right. It's the rec room. What's inside? That was, there was a window on the rec room door and I heard it to look inside and when I did, Oh my god! Is she unconscious? She's just sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window, but I couldn't get the door open. Holy crap. Oh my god, that looks like blood. Oh my god, I see things. She wouldn't respond. Huh? Break the door down! Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room, but the door is locked, and if we break in, we'll be violating. Oh, so we can't break any door Ooh. down? We're going to force our way in. I just said the door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room doesn't have a lock. Then why? It feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the Oh, it's a body. <gasps> is it a chair? In other words. Either way, the door isn't locked, which means as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. So, okay, so we can break in then. Let's smash the window. That'd be the fastest way. Okay, I'll go get something to break it with her. Oh, don't you leave! 
Okay, so she still hasn't moved. Uh, she's just unconscious, right? Yeah, right? Kyoko didn't reply. There was only silence. But that silence didn't last long. Here! I found a broom! Okay. Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Come on, please! Okay, let's do this. Come on. I'll break anything. All it took was one solid hit. Okay, the window shattered into a hundred pieces. Okay, yeah. I stuck my hand through the- if, Well, if that didn't wake Sakura up, then she did. The chair's pretty- The chair's pretty heavy, but I can just push it with all my strength, and I finally got the knob to turn. Sakura! I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her- <gasps> Oh, no! Really? All I felt was cold dead. Not Sakura! That actually makes me sad. I like Sakura! Life had abandoned Sakura's body and then... No, not Ding Dong Bing Bong! This is awful! How did she die? She's just sitting there! A body had been discovered! Oh, that's official. We found her. That's... Oh. That sucks. Uh... That sucks, guys. I like huh? Sakura a lot. And we're never gonna know, like, the secrets! Sakura's... Sakura's... dead? She's... really dead? I heard Hina talking, but my eyes stared uh, steadily forward. I can only look on at Sakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. Ah! Well, guys, I'm gonna have to end it there. It's been way too long, but crap. I really didn't want Sakura to die. I really like her a lot, so I'm mad. But Hina's not dead, so I mean, we gotta look at the silver lining, right? She's not dead, but uh, I got a feeling this investigation is gonna be just as crazy as the last one. How did she die? I mean, I think I think Byakuya is definitely a high suspect. I know I always blame him, but I really think this time he has a great like, I think he may have done it. That's all I'm saying. Oh, but wait, Hina is the one that says she found her. Oh, God. No way. There's no way she would have done it. Anyway, we're going to find out next episode, you guys. So smash 30k likes. Thank you for the support so far. And until next time, bye-bye.